Peter Chow here. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you for the applause. Okay, stop. These past two weeks, I have been in Hong Kong having a great time. And while I was doing some wonderful shopping and eating some delicious food, the most important thing was visiting my 95-year-old grandma. Chinese old people are the fucking ball. They are the best. They can get away with anything. If a young man like me say something a little bit racist or a little bit pituitary incorrect, it's a whole big deal. Everybody's just freaking out. Oh, you chinku motherfucker, you how dare you? How dare you say something so racist? But when there's an old little innocent lady saying the exact same racist thing, it's completely fine. It's okay, no problem. Because she's old, just like my grandma. Chinese old people tell their best fucking story. Check this out. <laughs> Old people have this habit of just mixing their story up because you know their, their memories are a little bit fucked up and they mix one story with another. Here's an example of the exact same story you just heard, except a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing to know here is that my grandma mixed one story that was about smelly brown people and then the exact same story Except it was about shitting your pants. So she is equating shitting your pants and the smell of it to the exact same smell that is emitting from brown people. Ha! Got you, brown people. Chinese grandma don't lie. They are brutally honest. If you bring home a big booty black bitch, her reaction might be like this. Old people are so dope. Remember, if you like this video, boom, give me the thumbs up and you know what to do. Stop drinking the hickory and start drinking. Oh God, I was an exotic.